Lou Brock's here, and Lou Brock is going to make an awards presentation and a special one at that. Lou, please make uh, your presentation, and I think Adam Wainwright may be involved. Well, thank you kindly for those applauds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Cool Papa Bell used to say, he was in his 80s at the time, and he would often say, it's nice to be here tonight, but on the other hand, it's nice to be anywhere. <laughs> nice to be anywhere. My chore tonight is to, first of all, I'd like to thank the fans of St. Louis, the people of St. Louis, for your prayers. I think they went a long way. Today, I am in good shape. I heard that and been told all the cancer cells is out of my body. So with that, I really don't know what uh, I'm going to do in the future. Uh, maybe I should make a comeback. <laughs> but uh, I probably couldn't do that because uh, Wainwright probably is faster than I am as I speak tonight. <laughs> but tonight I'm here to present an award. And I think it's sort of special, a stolen base award. Uh, Coming into St. Louis as a player from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. <laughs> I was told by the manager and that we needed a base runner on the ball club, a guy who could steal bases. And I looked at him and said, sir, I am not your guy. You got good base runners. You got guys who can run fast. You got McCarver. You got Javier. You got Kurt Flood. And he said, um, I'm going to say it again, Brock. You're my guy. Do you have a problem with that? And if you do, I just find another left fielder. So I had no problem with that. <laughs> But tonight, uh, again, I'm going to make a presentation on behalf of uh, Major League Baseball. You know, baseball has what we call the, um, the uh, Civil Bat Award is in name of, I believe, of um, Tony Gwynn and who is, who is the other guy? Anyway, he got to be a good hitter to be, have his name attached to. <laughs> so I've been lobbying, trying to get the commissioner to do uh, a Golden Spike Award for base stealing. But I got to tell you how this all came about. My name got attached to the Stolen Base Award. It was like 1974. Hank Aaron had just hit home run number 715. I went over to the National League office to congratulate the league president and said, boy, that was a great thing. I'm sure you must be really proud of that. And he said, yeah, we are. And in the National League, we are really proud of that. But that uh, created an issue for us. What's that issue? Well, we don't have anything to promote. Hank Aaron has done it in April, and we got the rest of the year, and we got nothing. And then he said, and I was 35 years old at the time, he said, maybe, just maybe, we'll do a stolen base promotion. I said, well, that'd be great. He said, but you're going to have to do it. <laughs> I cannot do that. I'm 35 years old, and I can't go out there and daily put it in the grime to try and to uh, break the stolen base record. And he said, whether you do or not, 
the effort. I'm going to have in the press through writers every game that you play that will be a stolen base summary. And the first day we were playing New York, I attempted to steal a base, got thrown out. And in the paper next day, Brock thrown out at second base. He is now 190 bases behind the all time stolen base mark. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept that up. And finally, you know, he said, Boy, I can't be associated with that losing streak that you're so far behind. So I'm just going to give it a shot. So the league president said to me, you may have to steal 150 bases just to get 100 because umpires are not going to be nice to you. And I said, well, I understand that. And so uh, I think I did. I did 150 and I got 100 out of it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, make a long story short, once in a while we as base dealers, we as hitters, we run into slumps. And slumps... Generally, you're trying to uh, solve an issue that may not be an issue. Mine was that um, on the bases, well, you wanted a perfect jump, the perfect jump. And you could not get the perfect jump. Every time you, you thought you had a perfect jump, you got thrown out. So I decided I would call up the only guy in the world who knew and who could correct that issue. And his name was Mario Wills. Mario Wills was holding the National League record at the time. He was with NBC Game of the Week. So I called him up and said, Mario, I got an issue. And he said, are you sure you, Lou Brock, talking to me and trying to break my record? I said, yeah, this is Lou Brock. And you think I'm going to give you some advice? <laughs> See, yeah, I think, I think you're the only person in the world know what I'm, my issue is. And he said, <laughs> if I were you and looking for advice, I'm out at the game tonight in Cincinnati. I would go to the hotel, get a good night's sleep, get up the next day, walk into your manager's office and tell him you're retiring. <laughs> So those are the kind of issues we were running into as a base dealer. But nevertheless, I had good teammates. They uh, encouraged me, and I was able to uh, fight it all the way. Um, one thing before I uh, bring up the guy who is receiving the award tonight, the Stolen Base Award, which is called the Lou Brock Award, I probably the only guy I got a chance to steal his own award. I was still playing while this award was announced. But uh, maybe I was still in the game when it was announced. Because playing stealing bases at that age was really, really rough. But anyway, make a long story short. Tonight I'm presenting this award to uh, D. Gordon. He's not here, but he is a champion base stealer. What I like about him, he's tough. He can go out there, I've never seen or read, and maybe I missed it, where he was out of a game because of a slide, because of an illness, because of a this or that. And I said, wow, this guy is a champion. He's a champion. So that brings me to who's going to accept D. Garden's award tonight. You may not know him. He's only about 6'6". Six, six. He uh, thinks that he can hit. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to know, one day he embarrassed me. I was sitting behind home plate. Wayne is coming to bat. And I said to him, do you know what to do with that stick? <laughs> and he looked at me and said, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's OK, we'll see. His turn was that bad, he walked up to the plate and cracked a double off the left center field wall. Looked at me and pulled his belt buckle up and said, take that. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, 
Uh, sometimes that's where we have fun. But anyway, with Wainwright, I asked if he would accept this award tonight on behalf of Dee Garden. He has accepted to do that. But when Wayno came to the Cardinals being traded from Atlanta, uh, he was working out on what we call the backfield uh, in the complex of the Cardinals. There are six fields. And the last one, way on the back. So I asked if I could see Wainwright. And they went and got Wayno. He came to me and he was a little excited. Mr. Brockman called me Mr. I said, no, 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 I'm just a ball player. He said, well, what can I do for you? I said, I'd like to have your autograph. And he stood there like, hey, Wayne, you're about 19 at the time, I think. <laughs> he said, I had never given anybody an autograph before. I said, you mean I'm first? And so since then, we've been buddies on the sort of a level. But tonight, accepting the, the 2017 Stolen Base Award for the National League, except on behalf of Dee Garden, my friend and your friend, Wayne Wright. Wayne Wright. Yeah, let me I'll come over there. Uh, this is the award. It's sort of, sort of heavy. Um, <laughs> So, Wayne, I, I've seen you run, I've seen you play, I've seen you get your leads and all those kind of things, and I like it. I like, <laughs> I like the kind of jump you get and all of that. So, yeah, we're going to probably bring you back as a base stealer. <laughs> so, anyway, on behalf of myself and the National League and the St. Louis Cardinals, <laughs> please accept this award on behalf of D. Garden. All right, Adam Rainwright, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's only fitting that I give an acceptance speech. Um, I've always wanted, so the key to stealing base, you gotta, it's all in your base. You got to really get down low. But uh, they asked me, do you want to accept the stolen base award from the legend Lou Brock? And I was, the funny thing is I was just saying to someone earlier, I, I said, I've never had a stolen base. I can't even make that up. That happened tonight before they asked me this. And uh, I said, uh, but if I ever get down to my last game in a couple years from now, when I know it's my last game, um, thank you. Uh, after I hit my double, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my walk and lead. And I'm just gonna go before I have permission. And there's no way they'll be ready for it until now. You ruined it because now they know I'm a great base stealer. So thank you so much. 